Hello, welcome back to Lauren Loves Color. Today is the day. I am so, so, so excited. I wanted to bring you guys a video today. I am going to complete this book. I am off work today, clocked out, no responsibilities. I am just off. I have a couple things I need to do today, but I am mostly here to color and to relax and to enjoy. And so what we are going to do today is I am going to color out of the large print color by number cut by color Questopia. This is one of my favorite books. This is added to my 10 books to finish for 2021. And you can see I have already done quite a bit um, with the tabs here I have for February, but I am only five pages away from completing this book. So my goal today is I am going to speed color. Um, you're going to see me speed color through the last five pages of this book. And then we are going to do a final flip through today when I am done. Um, this is my very, very first and will be my very, very first coloring book I will have ever finished. I am so excited about that. I am so excited about having a book done and I've got to figure out what I want to do to treat myself. I think I'm going to purchase another coloring book um, as kind of a reward to myself for completing a book. So I'm going to have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with the speed coloring. I am going to be using my Prismacolor Premier Markers. These have become a huge favorite for me in color by number books. Um, I use these guys a lot now and I really love to use them in my color Questopia books. So I'm going to be using those and um, we will kind of dive into coloring. I hope you enjoy and I will see you guys when it's over. Bye. So we have my first of five pages completed, um, which is this little dolphin guy. Um, this was really fun to color. This is obviously a lot of marker um, on the page. And so <coughs> I'm always interested to see what people actually color with um, on their pages and what they use. So I used um, the vast majority of what I used for my Prismacolor um, Premier markers. I used quite a few, uh, quite a lot of those. This page actually had quite a few different colors um, that it needed. So I used those markers. I used a few of my Copics, the light gray, kind of a light brown and a light yellow color. I used some of my Cali Arts, I think for the dark pink. Um, this was one of the dark oranges, a dark yellow. This was also, I think, one of the oranges that I used. And then um, R702, which is kind of this um, light purple color. And then last but not least are a couple of one-offs. I used the Spectrum Noir marker in TB3, and that was for the water. I have a set of the, the kind of the blue set of the Spectrum Noirs that I use a lot of my Color Questopia books because a lot of them have these kind of big blue backgrounds for sky. And then I used a Crayola Take Note in indigo and that was for kind of this dark purple it was interesting i had a really hard time finding kind of a deep purple color so um yeah so page number one is done yay let's move on to the next one page number two is complete. Um, this one was actually very, very easy and didn't take much time, maybe about 30 minutes or so. And um, I like how this one turned out. Obviously a lot easier because there's not a background. Um, this page and the page before actually had quite a few oranges, which is a primary reason I had to use a whole bunch of different um, colors and markers again. So I used for um, this page, these are my Prismacolor Premier markers. 
Um, and so those are all of the colors um, that I use there. Lots of blues, some oranges and yellows, red, um, green, brown, pink. So um, I have those. I used one Kelly Art Marker in R301. This is the color Blush. I had to use this for some of the um, light pink color in the wings. And then lastly, I used a couple of Copics, a brown, an orange, and a kind of deep, deep blue. Um, and I really like the butterfly colors, um, actually, in this picture. And uh, I think this one turned out pretty well. So we will move on to the next one. So page number three is done. I am over halfway there. Love this. Love the succulents. I have the Cactus and Succulents book and this very much reminded me of that and I really liked it. So let me show you what I used. Again, I used my Prismacolor Premier markers. Lots and lots of greens. I think there were one, two, three, four different greens. I used three greens here, two browns, a yellow, an orange, and kind of a magenta fuchsia kind of pink there that I really like. I used a few different Cali Art markers, a kind of army green color, red, and then a light purple. I used another light purple and a light pink Copic. And then I again used the indigo um, bluey purple for um, those colors there for the deeper purple color. So really like how this one turned out and let's keep going. All right, guys, so page number four is finished. I really, really like this one. This is really cute, this cute little corgi pup guy. Um, <clears throat> let me show you what I colored with. Lots and lots and lots of Prismacolor Premier markers, lots of greens, a yellow, a couple of, well, a peach and a pink, um, a black, and a couple of browns. <clears throat> I also used a couple of Cali Arts, a, a dark yellow, and a dark orange. I used G117 for my um, Copic. And then again, for the blue, I used TB3, for, um, which is a Spectrum Noir marker. <clears throat> and then also I like to, when they color in the eyes black, when they have that there, I do use, this is my Signo um, Uniball white gel pen, which I absolutely have been using to death. Um, and I use that just to color in the little pupils of the eyes so that it doesn't look like his eyes are just totally dark. <clears throat> So with that being said, this I'm going to have to take a little bit of a break. I need to go pick up my kiddos um, from school. And so I will finish my very, very last page, um, probably after I do the whole nighttime thing, you know, have dinner, um, put the kids to bed um, and all of that. So I will be back in a little while. Bye. <music>
I did end up having to come back. I have put my kids to bed, but my son is resisting. So we are going to see how this works, but I was able to finish my very last page. It is a basket full of vegetables um, and I guess fruits because technically I think tomatoes are fruit and that definitely looks like a watermelon. Um, so who knows? Uh, let's take a look at the markers that I used. The same old, same old. These are the Prismacolor Premier markers. Lots and lots of greens. I used three greens, two different kinds of reds, two browns, and a yellow and an orange. I used four different Cali Art markers. I had an army green. I had a what they call as a neon green, a dark yellow, and a dark orange. And then I used two Copics. I used forest green and chrome orange um, for an orange and then the medium green in the picture. So yay, we made it. I have made it here. This is my final page in the book. So let's go ahead and um, I will see you next in my final flip through. Hooray! Oh, it feels so nice. My very, very first completed coloring book, and I could not be more thrilled. Um, this book I have just fallen in love with. It is a large print color by number by Color Questopia, and what an appropriate and most perfect first book to finish. Color Questopia was the first color by number book that I owned in my collection, and so I think it's just perfect. It's coming around full circle that this is also the first coloring book that I have completed. Um, I did look in this book and I think I started the first image out of this book back on January 16th. So it's taken me almost a month to complete it. Um, I at times just had to set this book aside just because I've been just obsessively coloring with it. Um, so let's go ahead and flip so you can see all of the completed pages. And so it starts with this one. This one, I think, which is my favorite. I love the colors of this bird. I love all the blues in the sky and the contrasting red. Um, this is a beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful page. More flowers and a butterfly. This was the first image that I completed back on January 16th. Um, what I love about coloring like the fruit and stuff like that is that their colors to me do seem kind of slightly off, like the kiwi. Um, to me, those colors look a little bit off, but I thought that that was kind of fun and different and interesting. Um, so I didn't mind it at all. Um, and I think I like that about the Color Questopia books is that they don't necessarily use all the colors that are just solely realistic. And so um, I kind of find it fun to see what color patterns they use. Um, these two birds are really cute as well. I love how they do the sky like this on some of their pages. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and so um, I really like that. Um, I thought that was, it was fun to color that way. And it was really interesting to see that. And then the Under the Sea. I have their book, I think it's called Beautiful Ocean. Um, and I really look forward to coloring that one too. These cats I thought were beautiful and lots of flowers in this book. And I really love flowers. So I did not mind that at all. And butterflies. And all the things that you see are marked are, are ones that I did this month. This one, I changed the color of the flower just a little bit. I usually stick to the colors that they have, but I changed that one just a little bit. This one was a Betty color with Amanda, and I love how this turned out. This really, really bright pink I added to the flamingos. These actually didn't have numbers on them, so I just made them my own. Go get a cup of water, bud, and then go to bed. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, and then this little fruit plate is kind of cute. This, I guess, is that an onion? That's got to be an onion, right? Um, and an onion on this page and an onion on another page to me look like they were orange, which is kind of interesting, too. This dolphin is cute. I really like the under the water pictures. I think those are really cool. These are probably my favorite butterflies. I like the colors that are in there. And I love, love, love the succulents. This, 
I think just the combination of colors is stunning. Little corgi. This is the last page I colored today. Again, some orange onions, which is interesting. And I'm wondering what fruit or vegetable that is because is that maybe the inside of the tomato? I don't know. Like that. But this is really pretty. I remember this being the first page I think I colored with my Prismacolor Premier markers that I had gotten and fell in, and fell in love with them um, in coloring this page. Love this orange bird. Got these flower baskets. And then this one, this was the only other one that I feel like I changed the color. The sky was supposed to be like a sky blue, like a light blue, but because it had the stars, I colored it more of like a navy color. And that's it guys. Everything else are the bonus images in the back, which I did not color any of those. Um, but yeah, my very first completed book. So I am going to figure out a reward for myself and, um, find something to reward myself for completing this coloring book because I'm just very, very happy and proud that this is my first of hopefully many coloring books to be completed. And thank you to ColorQuestopia for introducing me to this book. If you have um, not seen this book or are interested in buying it, I will put a link in the description box below. And with that being said, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching me on this journey and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.